everyone, it's Diane here. Welcome back to our channel. Also, lots of love from my mother-in-law, Jenny. She has a co-host on this challenge. Uh, not on this challenge, on this channel. <laughs> I'm doing a challenge by myself today. Um, What was I about to say? Oh yeah, sure, I'm sorry. I am participating today in the Winter Coffee Beverage Bar Collab, which is hosted by Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. And her co-host is Kenya from Kenya Decor Corner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rearrange my coffee corner, my coffee beverage corner in the kitchen. I'm zooming out, right? Yeah. And uh, for that I'm going to use, yeah, several Christmassy items. Not the one you see here. Uh, this is Clara from the Nutcracker Ballet. She's in my wreath right now. And it's a Kurt Adler ornament. I really love the Kurt Adler ornaments because of her details and look at her skirt everything is so beautiful made glittery pink purple white just perfect colors which I want to use to this year in my yeah my Christmas decor I also have here this dark red color but I'm not really sure if I'm going to do anything with that in the kitchen but I'm surely going to do something with yeah soft pink color I suppose so are there any rules? Well, not specifically. I just have to rearrange my beverage corner in the kitchen for the winter and Christmas season. So let's start doing that. So here we are in my kitchen. Welcome everyone. There is some little Christmas decor up there and I have a Christmas tree in my kitchen. Very cute pencil tree, one meter and 60 centimeters tall. And I will show you something of the ornaments. The candy you see is also from Kurt Adler, and they have the same color as Clara in my wreath. Oh yeah. This is an Adler item, ballerina. Ballet is my main theme. Another ballerina over there. It's a little bit different. And also a ballet dress. Really cute. I have a cute dove here with a tail and on top is the angel the Christmas angel this one was incredibly expensive but hey doesn't she look beautiful just like so all right what I want to do I want to rearrange this part of the kitchen because that corner doesn't look like Christmas at all right now this, guys, is my coffee machine. Don't know if you know this concept. It is called Senseo from the brand Philips. And this is a very popular coffee machine in the Netherlands. It's a pad machine. This one is a pad holder for... I hope you can see it. Go on. Hello. The camera won't listen. Well, I hope you can see it like this. There's one cup. So this is... Let me show you the concept. I have coffee pads up here. Look, a coffee pad. Also from Senseo. Oh, hold it. Pop down. Yeah. Senseo. This isn't any sponsored thing, by the way. I just like the coffee of this brand. Put it in, fill the container with water, then close the lid. Turn it on, and then, oh, well, it flickers because there isn't any water right now. Just put it off again. And then when the water is hot, there's a boiler inside. Then you can start making your cup of coffee. And now I have to close this with one hand. How do people do this with one hand, really? As I'm working... In my office and he has one hand and I saw him once peeling a banana with one hand that was incredibly I couldn't do that I suppose all right enough talking um yeah I just want to rearrange everything inside here that's a dark corner maybe I'm going to do something with that but I focus on this area so um let's see what I can find for decorating. <laughs> the first thing I did was I move yeah the pots and the kitchen towel and yeah there is a water boiler down there you can't see it look there it is for making tea so this will be my tea corner 
And this will be my coffee corner. Just have to put a little bit more back, just like so. So I have a clear workspace to decorate with. It's actually also kind of empty wall, but let's see what we can do about that. Just look what I found in my shed. I totally forgot that I had this painting. I think I bought it last year or so. And this one is from Ikea. It's actually an old one yet, but I really love the style of it. Italian coffee beverages. I also had one with ice cream, but that one is suitable for the summer. This one is definitely Christmas. Look at the lovely train. It's lovely colors. Makes me remind of, yeah, makes me think of the Coca-Cola commercial with the truck, but then this is a trick. I love the red, uh, the red, yeah, actually fits the dark red, which I'm using into my interior and also my big Christmas tree this year. So let's see where those things can stand. So I think this looks nice together. The painting behind the stove and the coffee behind or beside the coffee machine. Um, is this safe? Yes, I think so, because when I start cooking, I turn the glass lid up and the whole painting is actually protected. Oh, hi, I'm there. <laughs> so, I found this safe. Now, I have to fill in this corner with something Christmassy, and I don't know what I have to use yet. So, I'm going to search my storage room, see what I can find. So, there is another item. This tree layered tire tree. I think this one is from Riverdale. I don't know if this brand is familiar inside of the United States or England, but in the Netherlands it is a quite expensive brand. So I'm happy I found that again. Uh, the color is copper. I am in high doubt if I want to paint it silver, but I don't think so. I think this is just how it's designed and how it's supposed to look. So I'm going to leave it that way. And now I want to, yeah, actually start filling the chai tray with Christmas items. I think uh, they have to be kind of heavy because I don't want to, yeah, well, actually, this thing is kind of heavy already. I'm also always afraid if I toss something over in the kitchen and it sets on fire while I'm cooking and stuff like that. I definitely don't want that to happen, so I have to be careful picking my decor in the kitchen. But it will be okay, I suppose. So let's see what I can find. Gosh, look what I found. I totally forgot that I had this. All kind of artificial cakes and cupcakes and pastry, bread. I think it is, yeah. How cute. This one is from, actually whole bag, is from Kurt Etler. Look, you can still see the eye where the ribbon was on, so you... I think this was actually supposed for a Christmas tree, but it's also squishy. I think this would do perfectly into my kitchen. Really, I love all those details. Look at the cute strawberry, it's just real. Yeah, good. See what I can find? I like the red colors and how I can arrange that inside of the tray. I just really like how this turns out. Looks like I own a pastry shop or something like that. How cool. Well, what do we need more to make coffee? I think I will use some coffee cream here on top because I never drink black coffee. I find that way too strong. Then my stomach starts to ache if I have too strong coffee. So I actually never drink espresso. Cafe latte is my favorite. Well, I think we're almost there starting to look cute. Well, I'm missing actually some Christmas decor. What can we do about that? Well, let me see if I have something, I have something to use. Don't know what I want to use, but let me see if I have. Look how cute. I have two glittering trees and they perfectly fit up on the top. So here I have my coffee milk cups. Oh, I have to tear them apart because otherwise can't arrange them properly. Just some utensils, oops, for the coffee bar beverage station. So, now I'm done. I think this looks quite festive. Oh, I have to pull that one away. 
quite festive in this corner right now, totally ready for the Christmas season. And I love how the lights under my cupboard shine. Look when I move the camera. Ooh. When I shine, how they shine upon those glittering trees. So that was it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun. I had fun, but it was quite, <laughs> yeah, quite a search to find myself some Christmas items for to have put on top of that part. I'm sorry, I don't have actually quite a large kitchen because you can see here this is all my workspace I have left and I also have something up there but that is it oh wait I can show you how to make coffee of course because I own a very 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 cute coffee cup right be back in a minute don't walk away don't don't skip the uh, the video just wait just say hello to my coffee cup this one is from Philo Ryan Bohr. At least it's a German brand or French, I don't know, but look how nice and detailed this is. This is from a collection called Winter Bakery. And there are a lot of spices and cookies and things like that. Candy canes upon this cup. So, let's make some coffee. I'll demonstrate how my coffee machine works. I fill the container with water. Now I'm going to turn the thing on and the light starts flickering. It's going to make a lot of noise actually because the water has to warm up and the boiler makes always a lot of noise and also when it, it produces coffee there is a very loud sound. So just warning for that. Look, now you can... When this thing flashes I have to wait. Um, right now I have a pet holder in there for one cup. Oh, there's the noise. Start talking quickly. If I push that button when this thing stops flickering, or actually I can do it already, look. Then I will make coffee for one cup. And on the back there is one for two cups, so if you can see it properly. And with this button, now it uses actually quite a lot of water for one cup of coffee. When I do this, you can make an espresso, because then it uses less water for the same amount of coffee, because I use coffee packs. I always do this. Now I have to find myself a pad. I'm starting to do this with one hand again. Just place it here. Then we will close the lid. And now I wait. Normally I press that button, but I want to show you how the coffee starts flushing up. Close this one. Oh, I love the smell coming out of that jar. Oh starting to go better ready I think is this almost done oh I need a small spoon for that this is a large one spoon and then I will use some coffee milk look how cute this looks oh well there we go everything is closed properly yeah if you don't close this properly but leave it open then water will be flourishing out along the side. I had that once because I thought it was closed, but it wasn't closed. Dump me. Now, let's push the button and there we go. Now it is ready. It's always dripping like that. Don't know why. So I'll leave it, I'll always leave the cup under there for a while. Sometimes the pad sticks here to the top. So this is all wet. I can throw this away. Just take the lid holder off, but I'm not going to throw it away because it's smoking hot right now. And yeah, I'm ready to drink some coffee. Well, that's how I make my coffee. I hope you had fun watching this little tutorial do-it-yourself challenge thing, what I made of it. And I hope to see you all back in our next video. We wish you a lovely Christmas and we are very, very curious about how you make or actually decorate your coffee beverage station for the winter and the Christmas season. Bye everyone!